Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Anan and I am currently in my second year studying pharmacy. In today's video, I will be showing you a tour around my Notion template for school that I have been using for my past semester. My template is inspired by a few other templates that I've seen here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. There were just too many templates that I liked, but I finally figured out how I wanted my own workspace to look like. The link for my template is available in the description box for you to duplicate into your workspace. So without further ado, let's get to the tour right now. So firstly, when you open the page after duplicating, you will see this home page. On top of the page, I name it as my current semester, like semester 2 or semester 3. But of course, you are free to rename it with whatever you like. Below that is the year that I am currently in which is I am now in the second year of my pharmacy degree. The next feature of this homepage is the gallery view of the courses that you will be taking for the semester. I used to make a page for each courses but I didn't like how it showed it only showed the title of the pages so I made it this way with headers. So basically you are free to change the headers uh, based on your own preference but let's go into details later. As you scroll down, on the left side, you will see a quote where you can change it into your own quote later. The other pages relevant to this template are the assessment plan, master schedule, active recall, and the CGPA tracker. The assessment plan is where you can note down your carry marks needed for your CGPA. It is just a simple list, but it's very handy as you might want to recheck how many marks an assessment carries. So do remember to rename the courses. Next up is the master schedule for all your assignments, quizzes, lab reports and other important stuff that you will need to take off. This list is sorted by ascending dates. You can add text for the type of assignment and some notes about them. The other views are also available and they are filtered in different ways. Just explore around and you'll know how to use them. Also, remember to rename the courses, it will come in handy soon. The active recall page is for you to keep track with your active recalls using space repetition. There are two types of trackers that I made. One is the unscheduled tracker and two is the scheduled tracker. You only need to use one as you prefer. For the unscheduled tracker, you will need to manually write down the dates and add your own understanding level as you like. For me, I will use these red, yellow and green circles to symbolize the difficulty level. Use this tracker when you feel there is no need to reschedule. Simple to say you would test yourself spontaneously on a random date. This tracker is similar to Ali Abdal's method if you heard of him before. Next is the scheduled tracker where you can set yourself the dates for the next repetition. This could help you to be more alert with your active recalls as you already know when the next repetition will be. If you are unclear with this active recall and space repetition stuff, please look up for more videos on the topic here on YouTube. The last page here is the CGPA tracker. You can use this page to key in your final examination results to keep track on your grades. In course names, I made it a text type column so you can just mention the course pages. Fill in the credit hours, grade and pointer in the rest of the columns. It's just another simple list so do keep in mind that there isn't any automatic calculation for the CGPA. So let's go back to the main page. On the right side, this is a filtered master schedule where only assignments that are due in a week will show up. I already added filters for this feature but feel free to change it however you like. Below these two sections is for your timetable. What you're seeing right now is the calendar view for my classes. For me, my class schedule changes every week so what I do is that I will add classes on each day with their respective topics. I also made a template so the icon for all classes will show up when using the template. These topic pages will be very helpful for your active recalls as you can mention the topic pages in the table. This also comes with other views that are filtered in their own way like upcoming classes which is filtered with classes coming in within a week, full list view and also postponed classes so I can take note of which classes that needs to be attended in the future. This feature is very handy as I also added linked databases into each pages that I will show you guys later. 
So let's go back to the course pages. I displayed quite a few pages where you can just rename them and change the header as you like. I like to use these Notion colors so I made some headers using their solid colors. You can find my Google Drive folder link in the description box. You can also change the page icon as you like. I like to name my pages with the course codes and the course names. I also added an option of the course type where you can either select if it is an elective or a core subject. Next is the toggle feature for your instructor's contact info. You can see how it has the same color as my header. Then I have a call out for my mid-semester result. You can also change it to a quote as you like. What I like the most when creating this template is that I wanted some aesthetics so each course will have the same color-coded picture with their headers. Right here is a picture of red macarons for my red team course page. On the right, it is another filtered master schedule. This is also a linked database. Only assignments from this course will show up. The last feature for this course page is the linked database of the lecture classes that I mentioned previously. Topic pages are used in active recalls. When you use this template, a feature for your active recall questions can be made. This is a template button that I really really love. So when you want to add new questions, just click on this button and it will add more toggles for your question. Now that I have gone through the template, I will briefly show you how to use them step by step. From here, I'm adding a new course page using this template. I go through the class manual and decide to add the lecture classes or topic pages in my lecture class calendar. Example is this topic on medical abbreviations. Once I have attended the class and want to create an active recall for this topic, I will open my course page and scroll down to the lecture class table. Right here, you can see the class I added just now. You can add in the lecture notes file as you like in this column. For its active recall, I will open the topic page like this, scroll down a little bit and start creating questions for my active recall. After creating a set of questions for this topic, I will open the active recall page to note down my first testing. What I'm using right now is the unscheduled tracker. If you want to use the scheduled tracker, use this view instead and plan out your own next testing date. So this is the end of my Notion tour for school. I hope this video could help you guys with my templates navigation. If you have any questions about it, feel free to send me a DM on my Instagram. So I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching and stay safe.